Media Lakes Media, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel. Thanks, we got lots of stuff coming up. Thank you for joining us once again. And today's story is about Cameron Mason, British writer. He's actually, he's British and the whole of UK claims him, but he's from Scotland. And that's a weird one because um, you have the Scottish Premier League and then you have the English Premier League. And then you have Ireland, like they're all different factions. But then when it comes to stuff like this, everyone wants to claim everyone. <laughs> so it's weird. He's either from Scotland or he's from the UK or Ireland. But anyway, I digress. Thank you for joining us. Remember to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and now we're gonna get into this. I mean, I'm gonna read the story, but I really don't even need to read the story about Cameron Mason because I know most of his info, but it's probably a few details I don't know, so I'm gonna read the story and scan through it and see what's up. But before we get into the story with Cameron Mason, we just got to do one thing really, really quickly. Really, really quickly. The name holds a story, a message of inspiration and empowerment. As a child, I constantly faced the need to prove myself, no matter which sport I pursued. But then, I discovered cycling. It became my answer to skeptic my abilities. More than just freedom, cycling became my pursuit of justice in the face of those who wish me to fail. So when you encounter seamlessly insurmountable obstacles, remember, just say it with your legs. With every paddle, you can conquer anything, one step at a time. And that's why you need to buy this brand. To embrace the journey, empower yourself, and achieve greatness. The new kits are coming, the new kits are coming, don't worry, you saw me in the red set with your legs kit, that's the old kit, the new kits will be coming in 2024, and uh, just thank you for joining me on this journey as we get ready to get into 2024, it's going to be amazing, so don't miss out on it, so let's jump right into this today's story, it's a Cameron Mason, a European Cyclocross Champion podium, oops, sorry, come back, let's uh, fix that real quick, real quick. And it's, and it's, you're speeding, buddy. You're speeding, buddy. That's my little Bermuda dialect. Right? You're speeding, buddy. You're speeding, buddy. <laughs> so what does the Bermuda sound like? Like that. But anyway, Cameron Mason, our European Cyclocross Champion, podium feels amazing. So if you didn't see it this weekend at the European Championships, he got onto the podium. He uh, he came within an earshot of uh, challenging for the gold, but he was able to hold on to second. And uh, so we had a Belgium on the top of the podium, uh, Britain in second with the silver medal with uh, Cameron Mace, Cameron Mason, and in third place was uh, Lars van der Haar on uh, from the Netherlands. So that was pretty amazing. That was pretty amazing feat because those two countries, aside from uh, the British, usually lock out the podium. You know, because uh, Belgium and the Netherlands or the Dutch, they just they just dominate cyclocross. So let's get into his story. Let's see what it says. It says Cameron Mason, Great Britain, took on uh, top class cyclocross races on the continent at the UEC European Cyclocross Championship and in the thick, deep mud and pounding rain came away with the first medal won by a rider not from Belgium or the Netherlands. Mason finished just seven seconds behind eventual win the winner, Michael Van der Hort from Belgium, and held off the pursuit of Dutch duo Lans, Va Lans Van der Haar and our Pim uh, but a more by a more comfortable margin. He says, "I'm a bit surprised by this step because I know how much strength we have in the British cyclocross right now, like Tom Pickock and others." Mason told Cycling News. Uh, but it feels amazing. It feels like my time is coming and this result has been knocking on the door for a few years. The people know, the people who knew, the people who know, know, and they can see it coming. I'm just really happy that I'm executed today. So goes into Mason's fourth place, and it's just talking about last week, what, which is what I was gonna was going to touch on. Mason's fourth place in the Coppenberg course on the on the top uh, uh, on the top ten stones of Overheis. Oh, oh, Mason's fourth place in Coppenberg course, and then top ten in Overheis, 
and the uh, national Management world cup and last year's world champion showed he was just pointed in the right direction and thanks to the uci points provided at the convenient second confided a convenient second row start in the race it was messy it was quite hard to uh, put together good laps after the first lap i started to do that i was settling in the pace and riding my own race that happened to be uh faster than the than the whole of the chase group that was good because it meant i could focus on myself i didn't really want to be battling in, in the into the corners and all of that that made a difference this was just about managing it and holding it all the way to the end the win wasn't very far away michael was in control but it's also cool to know he's just there and it's and uh <clears throat> no he's just there and that's the jersey but for now i'm just super happy with my silver the british champion expanded on the comments in his post race press conference saying that the course conditions turned out to be perfect for his skills when i looked at it on friday i thought it might be a bit too punchy for me but but every time it rained more i was like yeah that's good for me just to bring the speeds down a little bit from 25 to uh, 20 kilometers that suits me a lot a lot more uh if the, if the climbs are more in the saddle with the deeper power so you saw how technical it was out there and the riders who made the least mistakes really it suited them the matter represents another British presence at the top of the elite cycle, of course, along with uh, those of former world champion Tom Pickard, a pioneer woman like uh, Helen Wyman, and the winner of today's under 23, uh, Zoe Backstead. He says Pickard has been a role model for Mason for and a former team teammate. I'm actually I've actually looked up to him throughout my whole career. He is a trendsetter. It is so important to have people from your own country like that to push you, to push the sport on. If Tom didn't exist, I maybe wouldn't be shooting for these medals and these levels. The years I've spent with him in our trinity, I've learned what makes a rider of this level. And now I'm becoming a rider in my own right. I'm looking forward to seeing him back in cyclocross. It'll be good fun. So that's a story about tom uh, oops sorry let's uh, put that back real quick there we go you need to see me back so i, I just want to bring back a picture of cameron so that's cameron mason he's cheesing up i mean yeah it's it, they have the british haven't had a medal in cycle across it seems like ever <laughs> for such a long time but tom pickock he was the world champion and uh, he's like been the only one basically riding on his own the last few years so to have another rider so you're gonna have a two-prong attack so you got the belgians and the netherlands and the italians and the french and all of those countries can uh you know sort of like buddy up with each other you know undercover even though they're riding on different teams when they're riding for the trade teams but it's still it's still good to probably you know that you got someone from your country that's riding in the same race with you it's pretty cool so anyway big up to cameron it was an amazing race to watch if you can't go back on eurosport and check it out i mean yo it was it was a dope race from the under 23 ladies and under 23 men to the elite women and to the elite men it was a real good day of racing and like you said when the day started off the under 23s were riding on like fairly uh you know hard packed ground like that was like a little bit slick and muddy here like just soft surface mud here and there but then with each race there's four races and with each race it rained more and more and the mud got almost like up to the hubs deep you know the bottom bracket deep it, it got pretty bad so it's pretty cool to see and uh congratulations to tom to tom to tom, <laughs> tom i was gonna say tom big congratulations to our uh, cameron mason and uh just big up big up big up big up so, like I said, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and that's what we got for you today. Keep it tuned, keep it locked, because we're going to just keep bringing it to you as it drops. Media, you know what to do. Hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, 
Thanks. We got lots of stuff coming up.